guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. Okay, you guys, so I just got a package in from Pepper Mayo and I have never done a clothing review or just a review in general of the company. So I got four things in and I figured why not try them on while I'm videoing so you can get my first reaction to the clothing pieces. I picked out a lot of cute things and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Also, if you're not following my Instagram already, make sure you do so now or after you watch this video. It's at Lauren Ludo and I post a ton of cute outfits and about my life on my story and fun stuff like that. So going to be linking all of the products that I try on today in the description below as well as the links to all of my other social channels which you should definitely check out. I've tried Pepper Mayo I believe once before. I had a few things for Coachella and I loved everything I got so I'm super excited to try everything on today. I picked a lot of colorful items and I also picked one neutral item that is kind of more for like the fall season I guess you would say but you could pair like Actually, I'm just going to talk about that one whenever I try it on. But I have a ton of fun, colorful summer pieces that I'm really excited to show you. So let's get started. So first, I started off with the piece that I'm probably most excited about, and it is this stunning dress. So it's a long dress. <laughs> Could you imagine if I would have just jumped and hit my head on the fan? So this is long. It goes to about like my shins. If you can see the bottom. Um, this is super comfortable. It's really form-fitting, which I like. This is hugging in all of the right places. I love the fabric. I love the pattern. This dress just screams like, I'm fun. I'm flirty. I'm here to have a good time. <laughs> and it hugs all the way down my legs. It doesn't get flowy or anything. I could totally see this with some like platform sandals. I don't know, is this too casual to wear to a wedding? Because I have a wedding coming up and I kind of want to wear this because it's so cute. Let me know in the comments if this is too casual for a wedding. I feel like I could dress it up, but I'm just in love with this dress. I don't really have any dresses like this. I don't have any strapless long dresses. The fabric is stretchy, but it's not like too stretchy to the point where it's like looking baggy. It really is like, it just sucks everything in. And where they place the stripes is so flattering because sometimes there's like a band here to cinch in the waist. I feel like they did a really good job of picking the placement of where the colors cut off. It's just so flattering. I think I'm in love with this dress. This one is a little bit big up here, so I don't think it would really stay, but the dress is stunning. I love a good mini dress. I'm really into strapless dresses right now, which I don't normally wear, but which am I next when I'm trying on is a strapless dress. What am I? Who is she? But the pattern of this is so fun and so cute. It's a really good length. It's not like at any point someone could literally see my hoo-ha come out, but it's also not like fingertip length, I'm at a Catholic school, which I did go to a Catholic school growing up, and I had to do that. So, needless to say, the dress is the perfect length. Even though it's a little big up here, the waist isn't too big. Like, I feel like it fits really nicely. It's really form-fitting, but it's not too tight and uncomfortable. This is like a really good, fun party dress. Like, again, with the fun, flirty, colorful summer vibes. I love this, perfect for a party. Like, if I was in a sorority, which I'm not because I'm literally 26, but if I was, I would probably wear this dress to like a frat. I don't, I never was in a sorority, do like, like, I've been to a frat party, but I don't think girls wore anything like this. If you're, like, 22 in L.A., 
raging at the clubs like I used to do literally every night of my life. I was crazy. This dress would be perfect for that. So it has this like, oh, oh. a mesh overlay over the white slip so the top part is completely mesh and then there's white on the bottom and like all these little like abstract shapes on it I think it's super fun I feel like I want to wear this like on a vacation like if I, I feel like if I was going to Tulum or something and I was going out to the clubs or to a nice dinner I'd probably bring this dress to wear. Nothing is better than when you're at the beach all day long or the pool and you get super tan, a little bit burnt, and then you go home and you take a shower, you feel the sun on your skin, you got a little rosiness in your face, barely have to put on any makeup because whenever I have like, my, whenever my face is tanner, I feel like I never really need that much makeup. Maybe a little bit of mascara and a nice gloss and you're ready to go, have a drink, and have some dinner. <sighs> I need to go on a vacation. Overall, I think the dress is adorable. Like, whoa. Oh, there's a there's a guy walking around my apartment right now in a shirt that's this exact color. That's really funny that that just happened. We all know I love a good feather moment. If I see anything with feathers on it, I'm like, I need that. But I decided to step out of my comfort zone and do a little orange. All orange, no pink involved. I can wear like a pink purse or something. But this dress is so so cute. The only thing is it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see right here, it's kind of showing. I'm trying to cover it, but these don't really move, so I'm like maybe they got plucked out or something. But this is so cute. There is on the inside, there's like, oh, what's this called? I'm just gonna say there's like a, a rubber band on the inside that kind of helps hold the dress up because I feel like if it was just the cloth material, it would probably would fall down, but this rubber band helps hold it up. This also is super form-fitting. Like, normally when there's a dress like this, I find it hard for it to kind of cinch in. Maybe I just lost weight or something. I don't know, I've been doing some Pilates, so maybe, like, <laughs> I'm actually seeing some results. We love that, but it really does hug nicely to your body to make it very flattering. The length of the dress is very nice. I think this is so cute, and I really cannot wait to take a picture of this. <laughs> Love this dress. She is stunning. not joking when I said the last item is very different from the other three but this is super cute like it's a very chic blazer dress I was in the beginning having trouble making sure the square stayed up and down because I really like to pull the belt so it really pulls in my waist and I felt it kept moving but as long as you pull the opposite way and then tuck it in these loops you'll be good so there's Two in the front and there's two loops in the back. I love the deep V plunging neck, that's super sexy. I like this color gray as well. So there's two pockets. Oh my God, there's actually real pockets here. So they go pretty deep so you can put some stuff in these. There's these as well. Oh, these are real pockets too. I thought these were gonna be fake. So four pockets on the front, which is super convenient. I definitely see myself wearing this around the fall season with some boots. That'd be super cute. But also, what's great about this is the belt is removable, so you could completely take the belt off, throw on like some black jeans and like a white tee, and then just wear this as an oversized blazer. That would also be really cute. Oh, what I was gonna say earlier, how I would style it. So I think if you like remove the belt and got like a pink corset, that would be so cute. I'm definitely gonna do that for an Insta pic.
Alright you guys, sadly that concludes the haul, but I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really, really love these pieces. My favorite is definitely the first one though, like that dress. End game. She is stunning. So if you'd like to shop any of the items that I showed you guys today, they're all linked down below in my description. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's free. You should do it. Also, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you think that dress is too casual for a wedding. I also did a poll on my Instagram, so I'm going to be looking at that, but let me know because I want to wear it. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye, guys.